Good morning. Today's lesson is about addition and subtraction of radicals, but this time the problems that you will see are with variables. Let me remind you first about the rules of adding and subtracting radicals. First, we need to check that the indices should be the same. Second, the radicands should be the same. If we see that those two are the same, then we can add or subtract the coefficients, the a and b. Let's go to the examples. Now here, all of these are square root. Let's check. Second, the radicands are also the same. They're all 3x. Check. So meaning we can just perform the operation on the coefficients. And they are 4, negative 2, and negative 8. So that's 4 minus 2 minus 8. Square root of 3x. So 4 minus 2 is negative 2, minus 8 is negative 6. So this is negative 6 square root of 3x. Let's go to the second example. Here we have negative 10 square root of 2a, and then the radical that is the same with that is 3 square root of 2a. So these two, we can combine them. We cannot combine them with the square root of 5a because obviously the radicands are different, which means this is equal to negative 10 plus 3 square root of 2a plus, and I think we can also combine this and the negative square root of 5a. So this is 4. 4 and the uh, coefficient of um, that negative square root of 5a is negative 1. So that's minus 1 square root of 5a. Our answer is going to be negative 10 plus 3, which is negative 7 square root of 2a plus 4 minus 1, that's positive 3 square root of 5a. And this is going to be our answer here. All right, let's go to the third example. Now here, all of the radicands are different. Yeah, but these radicals are not in simplified form. So which means that the first thing we, we can consider is, can we simplify the radicals? So if we can simplify the radicals, let's simplify them first. And then from there, we can um, obviously see if we can combine the radicals or not. Let's start with this 20, um, 7 squared of 20 28m squared. So that's 7 times the square root of, I think we can express that 28 as 4 times 7, right? 4 is a perfect square number. So in simplifying radicals, we need to find the... Uh, the largest perfect square factor of a number. m squared, that's, that square is divisible by 2, so I'm going to leave it there. Minus 8 square root of 63. So what's the, what's the highest perfect square factor of 63? That is, yep, it's 9. So 9 times 7 times m squared. I'm going to factorize that m raised to 3. Okay, because I want my exponent to be divisible by 2. And plus 3m squared of 7. Okay, so square root of 4 is positive 2. Square root of m squared is m. Alright, that leaves us 7 only. So this is 8. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of m squared is equal to m. And then square root of 7m plus 3m square root of 7. 7 times 2 times m is 14m square root of 7. This is equal to negative 24m square root of 7m plus 
m squared of 7. So now that all radicals are in simplified form, I think we can only combine this and that radical. Okay? So what's 14m plus 3m? So 14m plus 3m square root of 7 minus 24m square root of 7m. So our final answer is going to be 17m square root of 7 minus 24m square root of 7m. All right, let's go to the next example. All right, just like in the previous example, um, it's not obvious here that we can combine the radicals. So the first thing we need to do is to simplify each radical. Let's start with the first one. So this is square root of um, 2v squared times v minus 5v square root of so we need to find the highest perfect square factor of 50 and that is 25 times that u raised to 4 is already divisible by the exponent is already divisible by by 2 so i'm gonna keep that 9 square root of again um you need to find the highest perfect square factor of 18 that's 9 times positive 2 equals u raised to 4 v squared times v. All right. Equals. So I think we can only simplify this v squared. And the square root of that is v. So 3 u squared v square root of 2v minus 5v. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of u raised to 4 is u squared. So you divide the exponent by 2, and that's going to give you positive 2. Square root of 2v minus 9. Square root of 9 is positive 3. Square root of u raised to 4 is u squared. Square root of v squared is v square root of 2v equals so this is 3 u square v square root of 2v minus 5 times 5 is 25 so 25 u square v square root of 2v minus 9 times 3 is 27 u square v square root of um, 2v. So uh, the indices are square or number 2. Check. The radicands are the same. 2v, 2v, 2v. And the coefficients, they are all have u square v, u square v, u square v. So meaning we can perform the um, indicated operation on the... Um, the numerical coefficients. So what is 3? All right. Minus 25 minus 27. U square V square root of 2V. So the answer is going to be negative 49 u square v square root of 2v. So there you go. That's how we add or subtract um, radicals with variables.